change your heart, change your life, change the planet. And this is how I'm going to lead into this conversation about diet tonight. Because most people change their diet to run away from something, to heal something. When you're trying to get rid of a disease, you're running away from something. I don't want disease. I want to move towards health. I want to leave that behind. Or I want to lose weight. Well, what is the weight? It's you. You want to lose yourself. I don't like myself. I don't accept myself. I don't want to be with myself. I don't want to look at myself in the mirror. I'm not happy with myself. Why should I be? Nobody should be happy with me. Running away. There is no solid ground underneath us in that state. And that is the normal operating state of a human mind. That's no one individual's fault. That's no one person's shame. That's the human condition that we all share to some degree. So the understanding that I'm going to hopefully imbue you with tonight is a support, a stand underneath yourself so that you are free to be yourself and make dietary changes and choices and exercise physiology changes and choices that are truly empowering you rather than choices to run away from you. Because we can only work with what we've got. It'd be nice if we could just change our genetics and get a brand new body. That'd be great, but it doesn't work like that. Unless you watch a lot of TV, and then apparently it does. <laughs> this is all kinds of shows about genetic freaks and weird scientists doing cool things, but that's not real. We have to work with what we've got. We've got to make the best of what we've got. And you can't do that if you don't embrace what you've got. Celebrate what you've got. Oh, I don't want to celebrate this. I hate it. But it's what you got.